Hello, welcome everyone to another attempt at coding. I'm going to read the assignment and Martijn said I should do that out loud so that you guys can follow along. So I'm going to read it. Okay, it's day three, binary diagnostic. The submarine has been making some odd creaking noises, so you ask it to produce a diagnostic report just in case. Nice. Uh, the diagnostic report, your puzzle input consists of a list of binary numbers. Oh yeah, I remember this from last time. That's This is where I got panicked. Yeah, read it carefully because this is an advent of reading comprehension day. I know, but I don't like binary. I don't understand binary it does, code. Binary doesn't matter that much. Okay, so. well, when the code probably they can tell you many use, useful things about the conditions of the submarine, okay? The first parameter to check is the power consumption. You need to use binary numbers in the diagnostic report to generate two new binary numbers called the gamma rate and the epsilon rate. Oh yeah, I read this last time as well. Power consumption can then be found by multiplying the gamma rate by the epsilon rate. Yeah, exactly. That one. Each bit in the gamma ray can be determined by finding the most common bit in the corresponding position of all numbers in the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was like when you check the first row and then uh, you look which one is most common. I see. Okay. This really isn't that difficult. So don't the co most common second bit of numbers in the diagnostic report is zero. So the common second bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. So zero. So the second bit is the gamma rays. Okay. All right, so uh, okay. The epsilon rate is calculated in a similar way rather than use the most common bit. The least common bit from each position is used. So the epsilon rate is zero, 01. It's the opposite then. Yeah. Multiplying a gamma rate by the epsilon rate produces power consumption 198. Okay. I'm going to reach in front of you for a second. Yes. <laughs> and they want to know the power consumption, so. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt this. I forgot how everything works ever. Just so I'm gonna copy gonna it gonna from the last for time. A I'm gonna do this. Wait, I'm gonna just copy. Gonna... I'm just gonna copy like one of the assignments and I... then I can like. Yeah, but copying is fine because I have a whole like. With my part file three. Stuff that I reuse. Wait, is this is part one of. Okay, a file. I need the file, right? Where's the file? Yeah, I would just make a file, just make a... What? This text? You can just make a day3.txt, and I would paste in the file. Yeah, file, just day3.txt. Day and I would paste in the uh, testing input at first. Testing. Okay, okay. This. Where is it? Lines. This? Is yeah. it just this? Yeah, this is a testing input. But why? Because you'll need it. Can I not just do the normal input right away? It's much larger. I guess so. I did that the last few times. Yeah, but those were easy. I would not recommend doing that here. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, 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 okay. So I want... I'm going to write it here so I don't forget. Wait, this is in the way, so... going to write the things that I need. I need the gamma rates. I'm just going to call it gamma. And then something has to go there. Epsilon is something else. And then and at the end, it should be like here. It's going to call it power is And then that, that's at the end, and then it would be print. There, it would be this. Um, This can go. And then I need for line in file, and then I need to look at the first number. So I have to... Okay, no, no, stop. Stop here. Yeah. How would you approach this? So go back to the advent of code. Okay. Wait. You're thinking way too fast. How? What How would, would I you approach do? this? I would look at every single first number. Okay. And then I would count the amount of zeros and the amount of ones. Mm -hmm. And then if one is larger than the other, 
then you set one number as the first number. Okay. And then you do that for every position and you add those numbers together in a row, then you get okay. the result. Do you want... <clears throat> no, yeah, go do it. Because this will work. This will work. So yeah, go do it. But I don't remember how you get uh, you can look at only the first or the, or then the second. Okay. Um, because you need like the character in the line. Doesn't matter, Gnafel. It's small enough an input it won't because be it's, relevant. I don't want to look at the whole thing. I just want to look string? at the first character. You can index into strings. But does that is it, if you make a string, does it only look at the first one? No, no, no. If you have a string, you can index into a string like okay. you would into a list, and you get the character at that position. So then I. So you just do line and then square. Why do brackets. I have this here? Because that's from the previous. I don't one. need that. You also don't need to split it. I would say strip it though. Strip? Yeah, so it removes some white space. So line equals line dot strip. But there is no There is white space at the end. They're like character they're like line breaks. It just cleans it up a bit. There's you a can't, there are. There are two bytes there at the end. I see. Where, yeah, you don't see them because they're 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 zero with with characters. They're uh, a carriage return and a line break. Yeah. Okay. But this removes them. So now I have just the, the now you have the line you want to work with. And now I can make the line into a list. The line is already a list. I can make it into a string. It's already a string. What, what you, you just said? I what? I don't understand. The line now is a string, and you can index into it like it was a list. I don't remember how to do that list thing just square brackets and then the position of the the thing you want oh like like i did there yeah and now zero is the first character okay so i could do if but you only have the first line now yeah but i want to do this same thing for oh for all lines I want to take the position in. Okay. No, okay, and then so I would probably do this, so, something like this. Okay, but so so what would you iterate over? Uh, from zero to the amount of no, 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 like yeah, what? it'll work too. But like, no, you you you're sort of on the right track. You'll figure it out. I just want to look at every position. Yeah. So how do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. You can, but okay, it so, must okay, be so four. So it's right over a range. You can do four, four n in, in range, and then the number this? from no, no. Then it's a function call. So yeah, and uh, if you use no, no, you don't have to even do the zero. It'll it'll start at that. Just all the range. No, no. You have to do. Well, you, have to, you still have to give it an endpoint. So where do you want to stop? I don't know which. How many? Two, three, four, five. So at four. And you want to make this dynamic. It's, first of all, n. it's five. It's still the n, right? No, 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 no. It's not five because the first one is zero. Yeah, but it's uh, not inclusive. What? It's not inclusive. What? What? Do you know what a not inclusive range is? Huh. And then you don't count the last number. So zero. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> programming. No. Okay, five. Because then you do zero, one, two, three, four. Does it not just do? Okay, but what is it n? It could be any number. As long yeah, as but then you have to fill in something length. here. You have to fill in the variable. Okay, yeah. how do you how do you get that? You have to make a variable. It's it's no no no. You can just do it in there. You can do it in the in the length. A press insert again. You can do it in the range call. You can just do len, and then what do you want the length of? Len of the line strip, right? Just line, then. Between like this. Yeah. If um um. Is one. Yes. You can just type that out in words, actually. Type it in words. Not that, <laughs> but you idiot. <laughs> but I can also do it like this, right? Do two equals. Yes. That's an and then check. I can do... Um... And then I have to make a count, and I can compare the counts. Yes, yeah, right? Can. Yes, you can. It starts at zero, mm -hmm. and we have to count zero. Also starts at zero. 
and then I can do else. I don't remember else. if Python has strict equality or not, but I think it. I think it does. I don't That's know what you easy. mean. You'll, you'll see. But in a this second. will work. This will work. Okay. The point is that if if it is one, mm -hmm. it'll count this number as plus okay. one, and it's gonna do that for. Is it now going to go through every first one first, or is it going to go for second, third, Think about fourth? It. Think about it. For n so in do... the range of the line. Yeah. So for every number. Yeah. In the line. A range len line, line range four range five will be uh, zero comma one comma two comma three comma four. So it's going to go through the whole line first, right? And yes. that's sort of. No, but I don't want that. I want to take the first. How do I do this? How do you do it? And then I can. Okay, so first let's 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 help you a bit. <laughs> so one thing you're doing right now is you're iterating, iterating over line per line. Yeah. Really that bad. Sucks. So what I would do is I would remove the four line in file. So okay, so above that line, this. above it, yeah, right. Um, you you can get all the lines at once. So you do lines equals file dot read lines. And then brackets, yeah. Because, and now you can do four is... line in lines because now you can access every single line. At okay, whatever this makes no want. this makes no sense because I don't know what what this changes. So you... so for now it doesn't change anything. What is this? It reads all the lines into a single array, a single list, all the lines. And now I can look at one line. Yeah. Okay. But okay. But do no. You... But still, it's no, still. What do you want to look at? Do you the want to look at number only and okay. then the second number? So what do we start iterating over? Do we start with the lines or do we start with the position? And yes, <laughs> yes. no, you're get that's you're getting where. And then I get, but do I still need this? Uh, read lines, respect the line breaks. That's how it works. Hmm. What about this? Do we still? Yeah, need so you no, don't. You don't need it now. No, we can remove oh, it. Can this. You need to do n in range again. What here? Yeah, and in 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 what? Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know line. line. We we don't have line, but how could we get it? I don't no, want stop. You're going the wrong way. How could we get it? You, this you cannot solve it the other way. It would be I don't horrendous. Know line is, and then it would be something like okay, lines, length of the first line, line. Indeed. How do we get the first line? And uh, then. Lines, and then it would be like zero. <laughs> yes, that's correct. But that's not what line is. What is line? Is it the length or is it the number? You can do it length. You you need to rename your variable. Yes. Range. <laughs> that's okay. It's it's more like you need to keep your variables sensible because you'll get confused. So for n in range length. Yeah. So in lines. You'll need to remove the in lines bit. Why? Because it doesn't work. That's not valid syntax. But I'm still looking at every line, right? So now. I'm still doing that for. Yeah, so now you have to iterate over every line. What? I don't. Why don't, don't you I just have, you have to put it in there? Around. So you had to. Because it doesn't work. It doesn't oh, work that way. Why? Can I not. For. Now you can do for line and lines. Yes, and, and now, now if do, you and, and now I can do if uh, if line end what you had below already that that you can just paste that there. It's gonna remove all of the, this. Can go up. That has to go up actually. This and then I could go but yeah this and. This. Could you please delete all the other shit we don't need from the previous exercise? <laughs> it's really oh. annoying me. Oh, you don't. It's a reference. Yeah. It's a reference for me to Shh, not die. What? No, he's trying to help you. I, I don't, don't. I don't. I'm gonna do it because I need. <laughs> this is how I have to do it. <laughs> this is how you I don't do have it. To. You can do it other ways. No, I can't do it another way. Okay, let me no. help you a bit. There's no. not... Later, I want to do it this way first. Okay, I want to do it this way first. And then I can do if count one is bigger than count zero. Mm -hmm. 
then I want to print this is gonna do it for every line now. I don't no. want that. No, no, no. Like... It's, no, no. Oh, it's, it's doing it for every n. n. Yeah. And then I want um What do we do? What do we know? What bit? I have to make a value for like I need to, the first number. It's gonna be one. The number is num. The first bits. Bits is one, and then else it's a zero. Yeah, no, right? this will work. Yeah. And then I have to do bit first. Bits. Right? No, I have to just use it elsewhere. No, no, no. Go back to the actual. What are you creating? I'm making a bit. Value yes, but what do you I then to, do? Then with I have it? to put them in line. How do you do that? You're actually there is actually a sort of smart but way that for the n I could do. There is a sort of interesting way you could do this, but you wouldn't understand it. But so I don't think about it. Things like simple. sums and stuff, but no, no. that's not what I want. Okay. When you're constructing something like this, use a string. Because you can just add to the string. But how do I add to a string? It's to plus another character. Then. Yeah, this this is working. Yeah. Okay. Sort of. You need to make, you make you need to make no 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 stop 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 <laughs> stop stop. <laughs> Doesn't work. No, you don't have to. You need to add it on the right side. All oh right. Because it's a number, and you have to make gamma a string at the start as well. So I do need to make it str. No, no, you need to. No, no, you put just. You have gamma equals nothing. You meant you put an empty string there. Str. No, just an empty string. You just quotes. <laughs> yes. yes, like that. <laughs> and do you remember what epsilon was? Wait, I could do it way easier because I, if. Strings also have a join. That's true, but that would I could do it. I could just do makes it. no sense here. Because then you wouldn't need to make bit a list, and that's just. Take out my key bag. But Nafa, like you and I both know, there's a lot of um, ways to solve this. Strings also have a join. Um, join. Oh, maybe we're thinking alongside each other. You have a function on strings that's called join, where you join a list using a separator, as what you provided first. Okay, so if there is more ones, then this one becomes one, okay. and that one is zero, and then I can okay. just delete this. Yes. Okay, so instead of string one, you can just do a one in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> why would I why but then it, because that's just but it adds another string to another string wait no um, but this would still work right it would still work this way joining a single character just is plus plus a character there look at this is this good yeah and this is not okay but it's because it makes sense it's not in the right layer. You should go left one. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to help you a bit. Why is this not okay? Okay, so still remove. Remove the power line. Just print gamma and epsilon and see if it works. Do it. You can just comment out the um, the power line for now. Just comment it out. I know, I, I know. It's... Yeah, exactly. It's really one of the things you're going to have to it's do like later. Like this, right? Check. Yeah. Now run it. No, no, no. Don't run the old version. What? So right click on the field. No, on the big one. Right click. Here. Just run day three. need to be like no no it's index out of read the error message index out of re 
So this is out of range. Yeah. But why? Um. I don't. That doesn't make okay. sense because they're taking it in the range of the leg. So how could you figure is out it, what? Is it one more? Because it's weird. It would actually be one less. Why would it be one less? Range. I I really hate using range, so it might be. It's plus one. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, go ahead. It's breaking. Oh, Why don't okay. you? Range is a horrible function that one should never ever use. But besides that, I don't like range. I didn't okay. use it before. Do you know how to debug? What? Okay, I'm gonna show you something magical. So we're gonna we're gonna Jesus, no shut up shut did. up we're we're gonna uh, shut up. <laughs> okay, so we can we can click here. And look, a little red dot appears, and we can click. We can click debug. Oh, I have learned this, but I don't. I don't. And now we can see what everything is. I don't understand what everything is. So now, see, n is zero. Line is this. Oh, look at that. That's the n character you couldn't see before. What? I don't understand. See, this is the line. So now you see line. Can just move that stupid thing. No, no, you don't have to if you never index into it. So now what we can do is we can click. Um, I think resume. No, but I can I can do that. I could just do the strip again, like you said before. Yeah, you could, you that would, that would no, no, stop. No, sh you go way too fast. See? What? 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 What did you do? Why is it? One second. You're doing all these things. It's complaining like here. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, that was a stupid thing doing because once we click where was it again why was the rerun until next breakpoint thing is it this one i thought it was this one because now it gives a different error which I can, if we can just solve it that way right we can just solve it if we strip why is line a one what the fuck is going on here I'm, I'm actually I'm, you're more confused. I'm I'm, I'm I'm confused myself here. <laughs> just do the thing that I thought. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do it. I'm gonna remove this. Just strip the line here. Okay. What did you write again? Was it line? Yeah. And then it was just nothing. Why is this yellow? Because you're not assigning it to anything. What do you mean? I'm using it here. Yeah. It's not assigned at that point. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, what does it mean? It means that... Do I need to do something here? No. Then what do I need You're to do You're putting here? it in the wrong place. But it needs to go before? No, after. Like, you after you, you haven't it. assigned it yet. You have to you put it yeah there. And you have to do line equals. Line. Because it doesn't have a side effect. Do you know Why does it need to be here? It needs to be before this, right? No, no, of course not. It's not assigned to anything at that point. <laughs> the error didn't change. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you haven't defined line in there before. So what you in next. So what I prefer doing now is just print stuff. Just write in the line above, print line and print and and then you can see what they are, because the debugging is a bit bit of a pain. Yeah, to run it again. This is confusing. Yeah, so? What's this? It's an empty line. It's an empty line. I solved it. Look. It's fine again, right? Scroll up. Yeah, it actually didn't error out. Well done. Okay. I don't know why it's still there because I'm pretty sure no way it might have still errored. Is that the previous one though? No. Why did it error out? Still the same. Yeah, you know, why did it error out? It's a really cruel one. When you strip, you remove a character, but you do count that in line, so I need to do minus one. What? Range length minus one. Why? Because when you do when you read the length, 
you count that slash n that you don't see, but the program counts it. But I stripped it. That's why I wanted to yeah, strip no, 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 it before. No, it, you stripped it. No, I stripped it afterwards, but I... But you still count it in the length, which you do ab above. But I should strip it here and then count the length. Uh, yes, you can, but you, well, that I... you, but you can't do it the way you tried to do it. I can do it like this. Okay. Okay, you know what? We're going to show you list comprehension. No, Fuck I can it. do it. I can do it doesn't it. work. <laughs> because <laughs> line isn't assigned to anything. If I just, I did, just did, just did it like you said, like this. Yeah, but line isn't assigned to anything. The program but doesn't know what to do. Yeah, one, but, yeah, but like in it. line 16, you assign line to a value. <laughs> and there it's not assigned to anything yet. It's a, the program doesn't know what you're talking about. Why is it yellow? <laughs> Fuck you, hamster. It's just because there's too many. Lines. Okay, here. Okay, press enter. Uh, in between there. Go, we'll show you how to do it. Oh, above the for loop, sorry. <laughs> Type. Lines equals open square bracket. No, square bracket. Okay, and here you type in line for line in lines. What? Now, where would we put the, put the dot strip? In this line. <laughs> but you just read lines. Yeah, we redefined it. <laughs> yeah, but now we can do something with each element, like strip them. Here. No, have I? Technically, yes. No. Here, then. Okay, type dot strip. Yeah, there you do it. <laughs> Good. Stream. <laughs> and, put, yeah. and now put that like before the length call. But why? Because then so the... I'm stripping the line. Yeah. For every line in, in all the lines. Yeah. Which is the reading of this. Yeah. And so now when you do the length after this, it gets it correct. So I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. Look there. And then I can remove this. You can remove minus one. And you can remove that line as well. <laughs> Teaching can your I friend. Remove this? You can remove that line. Teaching my girlfriend to strip on stream. I know, right? Why would you need money to sell? Don't you have a pretty decent job now, hamster? You should teach people your variable. My variable naming schemes are better than Ava's. I'm... what? Nothing. My what? Variable naming schemes. What do you name variables? Is that what we just did? Is that this? It's fine. Is it this? Technically, but it's fine. You can just ignore me. He's a grumpy Russian. He doesn't know true But love. is the... what is it? Variable naming scheme. This. It just it just means what? How do you and what do you name variables? So this. Yeah. So okay. Yes, then. I I don't know. You run run the damn thing. <laughs> but I can remove this now. Okay. And I want to. <laughs> I can type. Why is this yellow? Why is it yellow? Why is it yellow? What is wrong with this? This is fine. Is it? Maybe you read the error message. Yeah, you're, you clicked on it, it doesn't show it then. There you go. Why does it expect int? This is also st- Yeah. Why is <laughs> that not okay? <laughs> what would happen if you multiply two strings together? Yeah, but uh, why do you... did you not save that error in the first one? Uh, you can do it like this. Because I need it to be a string at the start, so it cannot be changed there. It has to be changed here. Okay, run it. It's not good. What happened? What happened? You tell me. How would you figure it out? Well, if it's zero, then something must have multiplied by zero. It's possible. Because it's possible. It's what happened. It must have been. I don't know. Maybe it, it didn't. didn't. Maybe it didn't. Well, I just wanted to put this, so... This doesn't do it wrong, right? This int, right? I don't know. Maybe you should try printing gamma and epsilon to see what they are. <laughs> so you can see your 
you're you're trying to figure it out without the information you would yeah, need. Yeah, but I'm just. You are my information. I need no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. What? <laughs> for every line. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is for every n. So for the first n. And I mean, then for every. Hey, they're line, best. It's quality quality time it's together. It's great. It's this is. Mm -hmm. What? Indeed. But if okay, so. This is all right. This is this happens for this is okay because this has has to happen for every n, not for every line. Think about it. Because I'm comparing for every n. The mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's true. But this is this. I wonder. But if this the keeps changing all the time. That's, we I had stream one day because Nick's is sitting there. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, this is no. It's Nix is the guy who knows Erlang very well, and I'm like, yeah, learning it still. I no, know. I'm just here to but, laugh at you. But I know, I know that I know, and to help me. Okay, the error no, is. No, no, no. I think is okay. Okay. I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to, because... I wanted to berate you, but yeah, go ahead. What is it? Because okay, so this is. For every n, so that's every first position. For every first position, and then I look at every line. Mm -hmm. And if that line is one, the count. That's all right because then it counts it for every line. I have to do this for every, but not for every line, but for every n. So it's still. You know, you want a hint. To be able to do it, I feared you're gonna break things more. It's obvious this didn't work. But why did it didn't? Why did it not work? It thought it had something to do with that I'm doing it at we, the wrong point we in time, and then it then replaces. We were in pie charm before a hamster. For Ava, at least, not for myself. Pie charm. <laughs> Fucking hell. This fucking bad message just avoided me <laughs> by not writing by. <laughs> they just write up. They're getting smarter. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> but I, I'm getting distracted. Something isn't working. Okay, why is count one plus equals one not working? I know, Bass, but she'll figure it out. But it's... Is this not right? Is why it is it? Why is it not working? Is this wrong? Is okay. Help me. No, is no. this wrong? No, no right? I, I'm using the same and the right. Okay. I'm. That's there's nothing wrong in that line. In fact, there's lines missing to make it correct. Lines missing. Yeah, exactly. Can I fall? Just be like followers and yours, and then just the link. What is missing? Or better said, what needs to be moved? <laughs> okay, that's confusing you a lot more. What? Darling, no. Jeannie, do you want a hint? Is this supposed to be somewhere in here? Because it needs to be like for every end account. It's this, right? Yes, you forgot to reset, so it would count the yeah, but that's what everything. I was, that's what I was trying to figure out, but I thought I needed to change then the position of this count. No. So I was like, where? I didn't realize. It I needs to be removed. It's a problem. The entire language passed. <laughs> but see, I was on the right track because I was like, okay, so it's reset. It's it's not resetting. It, it's like it's, it's continuously changing yeah. it, but then I didn't know where to fix it. But if I do it now, it should work. No. Why is it not working? Are you... Am I still doing something wrong or are you also confused? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So it it is still wrong. Of course it's still wrong. Every... Do I need to like... Oh, but for every N I have to do this... No, this is still in the right place, right? 
Yeah, because this has to also have a lot of your debugging skills are. Shush! I'm doing really well. Okay. You need to put yeah, more is... print statements okay, everywhere. I, you what you what remember I... how last time mm -hmm. I said it's been a year? Mm -hmm. It was actually been two years. See, now it's only been a week. <laughs> Sandbag it. I'm still not good at this. I'm still not good. That's true, but that is true. I mean, don't anger the machine spirits. Don't, print. don't anger the machine print. spirits. Prince, no, this has got to do for every line. Indeed. And now it's not doing it for every line, so that's good. You need. I would love a pint. This is not correct. Indeed. So what's going on? Why is this? Well, it has to do it for. It only says twelve. Exactly. So it does. So it's every, but not everything is. This is such a horrible, horrible problem to debug. <laughs> do you want to hint? Do this like, like, basically like this. Test it. <laughs> no, test it. I didn't do the double walk. It doesn't matter. Shush. Hey. It's because but you were earlier, and then you said no. This is the you were doing it. So you were doing it was right. Spot. Yeah, but actually, it was, it was right. I just need to remove this now. Yeah, so you don't compare things of the wrong element. But the answer is that correct? It's not correct. Why wouldn't it be correct? Wait, I forgot to do the binary thing. The thing is, Bass, I kind of like debug prints because I think the thing is the visual but debugger. How can you make it from the binary to the not binary? So um, non binary. You can. <laughs> uh, in int, you can spec no, no, stop, stop. In int, you can specify a base. What? Okay, Google it, or look at the documentation for int. Yeah. Sorry, doesn't. Bytes. Oh, yeah, it's the. This. It's not the. Mm, yeah, technically, it'll work. It? No, that's not what you want to do. Why not? Okay, this, this documentation is shit. What? But search, I... Google it. Just but search. Google it, you know the knowledge. You're my Google. Of course I know it. <laughs> what? <laughs> a string? <laughs> You sure you want to do a binary to a string or not a string to binary? No, the binary needs to go to normal numbers. Yeah, so do binary string to int. Of course I know it, Hamster. It's very easy. This is so bright. Okay. Shut up. This? Oh, that's the question. This. <laughs> you just need int and then... I can do this, look. Can you do it? <laughs> 198. Is it correct? Just go check it. I don't think it was correct. Go all the way to the left. Hold on. It's a testing answer. It's correct. Mm. It's correct. Oh, it's yeah, why? Well, yeah, okay, so where's the actual... So I did it right, so I don't it need goes. to do it with the full... No, do it with the full. Where is it? I don't believe you. Where is it? All the way down. Get your puzzle input. Oh, here. What? No, because we don't need to. I mean, I told Ava she could if she wanted She's to. She's going to replace care. it. What? She didn't did care. About doing your own like answers. My own like what? Like your own thing to fill it in. No, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I just want to be able to do the assignment. I don't really care about the. Scroll up. Really? Yeah, it's correct. Is it not one off? No, it's correct. Yeah, I did it. So now we can do part two, and now I will die again. Right? Now it's time for the real advent of reading comprehension. Real. 
I'm scared because I see text. <laughs> it's the wall of text. But there's just text and no more example. Okay. Next, you should verify it. Wait, I'm first gonna drink tea. Important to hydrate. My motivation is to have Nitro enjoy my suffering question. Oh, I'm enjoying this so much. Oh. I'm secretly is... hoping it also frustrates him because that would be karma for laughing this at me. This is adorable. Watching you struggle is my favorite. Uh, Your favorite pastime. Favorite pastime. Next to struggling yourself in stream on stream right that's, yeah that's that's your real favorite pastime motivation without me to star look watching number go up gives me dopamine <laughs> which number the stars. The star. yeah. <laughs> well it's i nice. did it too past i made a pretty the, big the mistake thing is here. the thing is i i think that at at most i would get a two day five or something and then i would just that would think, already be a struggle, and then I would just stop. I think you could do every single day up so far, except for maybe day eight. And even day eight, if I told you to brute force solution... Until you when is two. today? Day which? No, yeah, I think you could do everything. What day is today? 13. I don't think I can do that at all. And you severely overestimate what I learned in Python. You'll learn more as you go along. Like, I can do an... Yeah, if you don't make me Google it, at least. I mean... Go read. Stop I'd delaying. St you'd stop delaying. <laughs> okay, okay. Should I read it out loud or do you want to... You should read it for yourself. Okay, okay. But so you... not out loud then. You read it out loud, I usually understand it better, but... Okay, no, I'll read it for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll read to you a bedtime story. Kill me. <laughs> Next, you should... This might kill you. I mean, it's really incomprehensible, so... Next, you should verify the life support rating, which can be determined by multiplying the oxygen generator rating by the CO2 scrubber rating. That sounds interesting. Both the oxygen generator rating and this... This is awful. Oxygen generator rating. <laughs> Who's yeah, that? don't think about it. And the it. CO2 scrubber rating are values that can be found in your diagnostic report. Finding them is a tricky part. Both values are located in a similar process that involves filtering out values until one remains. Only one remains. Before searching for either rating value, start with the full list of binary numbers from your diagnostic report and consider just the first bit of those numbers, just like before. Yeah. Then keep only numbers selected by the bit criteria for the type of rating value for which you are searching. Discard numbers which do not match the bit criteria. Okay, if you only have one number left... If you only have one number left, one number of what? The one that you keep or the one that you discard? No, it's the, the numbers in your list, so like the, the bit, the binary numbers. Oh, so at the last number you stop? You can't offend the Dutch. You can try, but you won't succeed. What? Just read the examples the, in a bit. I'm going to repeat the process because next bit to your right. Eva is already in pain. She's enjoying herself, aren't you, honey? Tell me you're enjoying yourself. Example, but I'm still reading the stuff until the example to find the oxygen generator and the most people, common value. People in the crotch when they deserve it. Now it's a good time to lose. Li yeah, should we learn, teach her about uh, transposing lists? This isn't this difficult, right? Because I'm still looking at whether there's more zeros or ones. And if there's more ones, for example, I would keep all the ones. Right? That's what it says. You'll figure it out. Keep only numbers with that bit in that position. Yeah. Numbers? They mean the number, the mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. So if it line, if it's line five, I have to keep five, or I have to keep the one in line five. What? You have to. You'll okay, see. I'm just gonna just read an example to find the CO two. Oh wait, if zero and one are equally common, keep the values with a one in the position. Okay, that's not that difficult because you can do is is, is less is or yeah. It's, it's very it's, easy. So yeah. yeah. I'm just. You're screwing with me. With That's not helping. Rude. 
You're making me doubt myself even more. <laughs> to avoid the CO2 score rating determine the least common value. Which is just... Oh, that's not as difficult. It's like literally the other one. So you could do else. And then you keep all the... This is not that difficult. Like if you, as soon as I figure out how to look at these numbers, it's not that difficult. Okay. Um. Okay. For for example, to determine the oxygen generator rating by using the same. Okay, I'm first going to look at the example. Start with all twelve numbers and consider only the first bit of each number. There are more one bits, seven and zero. Okay, so keep only the seven numbers with the one. Oh, you keep the whole number. Yes. No. 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 What do you mean no? I don't, want to. I don't know how to discard them or keep. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Because then I would have to make like a list. Nope. I would put them in a new list. And then in that list, look at the second position of every number. And then make a new list. Look, he's even giving you a hint. What? Okay, Time to learn about hints. recursion. Or just pop. <laughs> what? You can, you can pop from a position in a list. Or you can even, yeah, that means remove from a list. Because it pops into the list. But that's not, but then, so I make a list of the list that I already have, right? Of the list of numbers of the text file. I make a list and I name that list something because I need, I need to do it twice, right? I need to, there's two versions. I need to check if it's equal or I have to read this example again. Pop, pop, pop goes the number. Okay. It took me a while to get this properly as well, so don't worry. Second bit of the seven numbers, zero, zero bits and one. So keep the four. Okay. And the third position. Yeah, I'm not gonna teach you about lambdas. It's terrible. Stop crying. Get to work. But I could do if the length of the list is then one or then it's okay. That to is stop. how you that's indeed how you could check if you're done. That's correct. Then I could print the list because it would just be that number. Indeed. See, I'm a little bit smart. I have a little bit brain. Do you? Yes, a little bit. There's, there is only one number left. Stop. Okay. And then I have to revert it. Okay. Then to determine the C I have to start again. No, I could just do this. And until there is equal... No, I do have to. Because I have to make this as a different... You know, I could just copy it and make two of... Two pro... I could just make yes, two you programs. could just make two programs. It's a very just common... Copy thing. the thing and then... Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. Use the binary numbers in your diagnostic for example. You'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Trying to be too smart is a very classic. Okay, 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 okay. Look, look. I'm gonna be fine. I can do this. It's not that difficult. <laughs> yeah, this will work. <laughs> yeah. What? No, that's good. It's good. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write down what I'm gonna do. I have to get. What do I? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna need the oxygen and the CO two. Scrubber. Yep. We'll make this. You can do it. You just do it I... yourself. You're a smart girl. Yeah, but like I could name it something. So else. Are you a smart girl? No comment. And that just be oxygen. I could literally just leave this and it would be called. I want to make it neat so it's going to be the 
life support. No, I prefer the ones where it just changes a single number best. Like instead of simulating squids, I think for no, okay, it's a few people. days and do it for 255. By the way, Hamster, how happy are you that uh, Shamilton lost? I don't remember what you said. That's why I'm asking. Oh, we all knew that. It didn't change. For some weird reason, I think Amazon's going to stay alive for quite a while longer. You have to make a minor just to part one. I'm almost guaranteed to mess it up. I mean, same, but it doesn't matter because you've already solved part one, so you can muck it up as much as you want. Didn't realize F1 became a... No, that was last, that was last week. This week was more okay in that regard. Okay, so this would just be basically what I need to do, right? I need to make a, a list of this stuff, or because I'm not gonna edit the file, mm -hmm. so we're gonna make a list of it, and then I would check for every for for every position. So let's start. Say we start with the first. You check if it's a one, and then you keep it. No, we have to check if. F1, we have to do the same. Count. First, you have to get which one is most common. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Health book with vegan dog. <laughs> I remember someone saying that he could be technically arrested now under UK law because I think they made that uh, uh, technically animal abuse. See if this is. Want to get this correct? This one was, I did a whole lot of work and then I was wondering why we didn't get the correct answer. And then I realized I was completely wrong. <laughs> Determine the most common value. Keep all the numbers. That's good, Hamster. Final Fantasy is protecting you from itself. Uh, we keep the one. I know one, one thing, Hamster. Why don't we play it's Final Fantasy 14 together at some point? Same or higher. And you keep. Oh, I don't think I want to read that, Finn. Boy, that sounds absolutely horrendous. Like Hamilton does a lot of good work, um, for in a lot of areas, but he's still a pretty weird guy. So, okay. Otherwise, why don't you start from the start again, then, Hamster? Sure, you love it. Sorry, just talking completely alongside you. You're doing good work, I think. I'm just trying to understand it, so I need. To, I'm really afraid I'm gonna mess it up just because I exactly. didn't read it well. Yeah, but I had that as well. I did a lot of work, and then I was like, "Wait, why is it not getting me the right the right answer?" Oh, oh, I know. Okay, I uh, example. Right. The least common value, but I would keep that. I just have to check once. And that would be. So don't try to do both numbers at the same time. Wait, no, I could, I could, but it's. Uh, let me. No, 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 no. Mm. <laughs> I would. Wait, no, I do need. To, I, I do need to do them separately. Yeah, because the list you keep for both is going to be different. I don't know, but I just need to read it again because I'm not. I keep forgetting it. I would. I would advise you to basically replicate what it says in the example. I know, but that's what I'm trying to do. But okay. I'm reading this because I want to understand the rule. Ah, okay, fair enough. That's the least common. 
A stupid but thing. This would be. This would be okay. So if it's and then you keep the ones, and then. But what if it's not the? Wait. So. Keep only numbers with that bit. Mm -hmm. Zero and okay. Or a one, the most the common most value. Common value. Okay, keep numbers. Okay, so and then it's, it would be indeed would be else. Um, keep all zero numbers. And then the second thing would be literally the same. You see, but I'd be to do it with the. It uh... would be yeah. Oh, this no. By the way, I'm sorry. I tried to get tickets for uh, Sunford for next year, but uh, I got uh, I got didn't get a lot of read in, so I can't buy tickets. So now I'll just have to uh, get there as a marshal. I could just do this, which is. Not exactly bad. I'll get it in there for free, but uh, it's not guaranteed, unfortunately. Just get tickets to Sochi. I wouldn't mind, but it's, you know, I can also just go to Spa or to France or any of the other cheaper circuits that are nearby. Unless Russian tickets are significantly cheaper, but I doubt that. The cheapest tickets you can get here are like 200 euros for uh, a weekend, uh, weekend ticket. I think a one day See? ticket is like. They don't. They just do swimming. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I did it right. Okay, so this is what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Present ties from the world. I mean, oh, like I said, I wouldn't mind going to Sochi, but <laughs> it sounds expensive. Because on the one hand, it's Russia. On the other hand, it is the Russian resort city. Then if counts, can't imagine it's cheap. This is where it changes because this is going to be the same. I'm going to check every first position, and if it's a one, I'll add it. And if it's a, but I need to put it in a list. How can I put it in a list? You can. But how do I make the list of all the numbers? You sorry. Lines. You can do list comprehension with an if statement. So you can do new lines equals line. Start writing it so you can actually keep some no on somewhere else for it. Leave it like here. But why? Because that's when you'll do the filtering. That's when you're gonna discard the ones you don't want to keep. Here. Yeah. So new lines equals then square brackets. Line for line in lines. If and now you write the if statement. Could I also just do if something 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 and then new line is da -da -da -da? Yeah, you could, you could, you could, you could do that as well. You because can append that's, it to it. That's what I'm doing now. Sorry, that'll be, work as well. Yeah, yeah. Like here, and I'm going to change this into... Yeah, you can do four this. line in lines, and then you make an empty list, and you append onto it. That'll work as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to flip it around, actually. The equal and the okay, larger okay, than yeah. sign. So this. Yeah. So if... I'm going to see what I wrote. You need to visit two places in Russia, St. Petersburg and the airport to leave. I have a feeling you're slightly biased there. It might just be me. No, I can do it in one go. No. I can do can it in you? one. Yeah, because okay. I can just. I can. Better get some gvass while you're in there. No, I can't. I can't because I need to read the line. I need to read the new. I didn't do it in one go. That should tell you enough that a god oh. programmer like me couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Neither yeah. should you. But my problem is then I have the new line and that needs to be read and counted again. Mm -hmm. What's that called? It's called recursion, baby. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, it doesn't have to be recursion. Keep all the numbers in the you can you you can do it without you can you can keep the code you have. How do I? So how can I? How can I? You can you can modify this code. You what don't are you need so that 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 for n in range length and for line and lines you have right now. But now I could just do enough. lines, right? Lines, because I want it to go back. Yeah. So lines. you can empty out lines and then sort of pending onto it. Yeah, you, you can you can remake lines. lines. Is... Yes. And then? Then what? Yeah, question mark. Yeah, but it's how do I get the ones with that start with the one? How do you do that? <laughs> yes. Hey, there's a fusion. 
<laughs> you can do it like this. Just check every single position again. Do you? I would say if, yeah. Do you? I, I, I would do it like this. Do it, yeah. Do Say what uh, you want to do. No, 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 no. I'm going to, I have to read. Hold on. You're a bit fast. You know this right away. I have to do read a line it again. Of coke. <laughs> no. I'm going to grab some alcohol. For a then I would do again for... I've got a, I've got a Sarina, a Russian Imperial Kirstout made by the Dutch. It's uh, eleven and a half percent. So it's more wine than beer. How do I add Ooh. the the whole thing? How do you do that? <laughs> Maybe, maybe Google it. <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. What is this thing in the in the list? <laughs> what are you trying to add to what? Okay, you have all these numbers. Yes. Then put one of those numbers into a new list. Okay. What do you call this number? It's a string. How do I string? Just don't say, but that's but hamster. <laughs> that is all that programming is: googling and remembering shit. A pen. I just still don't know how to add that from another list. How do I add the string from that position? You have, that's for line and line. Line is that line. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. List dot events. That's impossible, Bast. I don't believe it. <laughs> What? I just put all my uh, variables in a global gnaffle. It usually works out pretty well. Okay. Well, that's nice. Do you want a taste of beer, Ava? No. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> is it? The beer is good. What it says on the end is horrible. Decadence. A wealth of taste. The Worthy of a decadent life. Like the European nobles who lived in the Belle of Clock. In the Schwarzwald was the city uh, Baden-Baden, the summer capital of Europe, where people went outside to gamble, sunbathe, eat and drink. Cheers. Is this, can this go like this? No, that's not right. It does... I'm trying to get myself over the Palmer Peak here. I've got enough whiskey for it, though. But I, new lines should be... But I just made that. Did I do it wrong again? <laughs> You're laughing at me. I know I did something stupid, but this doesn't help. A pen... Self. But do I not do it? Okay, so... You should... Okay, take a look at the example again. I can't do that take again. Look I did something oh, stupid. Take a look at the example. <laughs> Too embarrassing. What are they doing here? Call... Do I have to do the whole thing and not just this? No, but what what are they right here? A list or do I write list? A list. But then I could just make it empty. Yes, indeed, you could. <laughs> you need to learn about variable initialization a lot <laughs> more, darling. Here, because then it's going to go... No, I have to do it early. I can no, you can do it there. Here. Doesn't matter. New. Yes. Wait, I have to look again. And then I can just do this. Yeah, because um, 
yeah, list dot append is not right because list is an object is a type name it to be new lines. But still, and then oh, I'm pretty sure append uh, append is a side effect. I don't so know you, what that means. You don't have to do new lines equals this. Yeah, you can remove that. It's because the function has a side effect; it already works on it itself, which is. Um, okay, 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 but this is not needed. Really. No, I am a god programmer, Gnafo, and I will say that till the day that I die, and I'm only doing that to annoy a certain German. But I, I am still a very good, good programmer. Okay, and now I need to do... But I needed to stop it if... Um... But I... Now I need to check new lines. Yeah. I need to check it. And if it's... If it, the length... Where do I need to do this? Because I want... And then I have I'll to check it. I'll tell her how to break the loop. Yeah, yeah. So do... No! No, what? No, how about I don't? So you can Google it. I'm going to just cheat and look up what, <laughs> what I did earlier. You did do... You had to... Then... My... My new lines is one. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do then? So then, this. I'll make it into a string just to make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> no? No, it's good, it's good, it's good. You liar! You're just laughing at me! <laughs> It's good. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it'll work like this. I mean, no, it won't. <laughs> oh, don't let me understand. Sorry, I thought it would even read. I want to get the 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 the, the value that thing. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Is with it that thing zero? Yes, it is. That thing. And then I could. I don't have scrubber yet, so I could just. You don't have scrubber. Uh, it's yet. empty, but I could run it now and see whatever happens. Yes, you could. And the first is in ninety four, where they don't have the scrubber, and that screws it up. So I did okay so far, right? Where does it print the oxygen for me? It's that one, yeah. Is this one? Yeah, it's that one. Because what is this? That's from the part one. I don't want it to run it. I'm gonna run and remove it. the call. Don't shut up. I mean, she did it before I as well. See fusion. <laughs> instead of writing, it doesn't matter. Instead of writing like quote one quote, she did string one. Which is just it works, but it's horrible. <laughs> this one? Do you mean this one? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> so I could just do this. Yes, you could just do that. Doesn't do anything. I was just making sure I couldn't <laughs> mess it up. You will mess it up anyway. And I did because this is not. This is not. This is not. This is not right. I don't know this if it's is, right. No, it's not because it it can't wait. It can be that long, so maybe it is. Yeah. Okay. And now I do the same for this one, but I need to do it differently. I can do I just need to copy all of this? Because if I just copy this part. No, because your new lines will be different. I could just make a different new lines. No, yeah, yes, you could. But and you might at that point you might as well. I mean, yes, yes, you can. I could just copy this and put that here. And then oh. <laughs> Okay, you know. It's technically worked, but I hate it. I know. But if it works, it works. No, the line is a string, it's not an int. So it's okay. I mean you could make it an int, but um you could you can do that. I don't know if you did, but you this said is, it, why is this It's a typo. You can just ignore it. Why? It thinks it's a typo. It's not a typo, I named it this. And it doesn't do it here. Yeah, because it's a variable. Don't think about it. Uh, see fusion, you can do that. You just do bit bit fudging or bit magic, whatever you want to call it. 
Mm. With positions, which will also now work. I have to fix this part because it starts here. I don't know if you actually have a built-in function in Python to do single bit testing. You probably do. I'm going to put that there so I know where to. Didn't do it right, did I? I don't know, did you? Yeah, I did something wrong. Where did my oxygen go? Yeah, where did your oxygen this go? Part? No! Control Z. This part disappeared from up here. It didn't disappear, you just you changed it. What did I change it into? You just didn't copy it over. You changed it into what you're reading now. Just change it to what you oh, had before, okay, yeah. it's fine. I want to make it. I'm gonna make everything there. No, oh hell no! I'm not gonna do that. Confusion. I don't think anyone even knows what a binary number is. It's a number with zeros and ones. Yeah, what's um, what's the OR operation? What is what? What's an OR operation when I do two binary numbers together? I don't know what that is. Yeah, see, that's the problem. What is a what operation? Don't think about it. What's a NAND? A what? Yeah, see. Not AND, the... right? Getting somewhere. Let's see if that's... There. <laughs> hmm. Se uh, seven, eight, and uh, uh, zero, zero, one. Need to be right. Not great. No. I wonder oh, why. I know why. I've, I forgot to change the... <laughs> the numbers are identical. Yeah, well, I tried my best. No, no I'm. No, but Wait, is this your best? This is no. Yeah, that's, that's good. No, that's, no, okay, that would make that make sense. It would be kind of sad otherwise. Let me read this. Determine the least common value. The least common value, and if they are equal, they keep the zeros. So I want just wanted to change this because then you want to keep this one. No, but no, because I wanted to. Keep the zeros. I know reading is difficult. I should probably just change this one into one and then it will work. It's just... Oh! What are you doing? I just know. Is this it's still... okay. It's okay, right? Is this horrible? No, is it's it not okay. Did I do it wrong? What? It's not the right answer. It's not happening at all. No, we're not. Why is this now not correct? How can that possibly be wrong? Look, read the error message. It's an empty string. What? Did it not add the... Ooh. This is so horrible. Okay, no, the error isn't here. The error is fully in your code. Determine the least common value. So if it's less or the same, you keep. Okay, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. It's still. It's... Could you just do this? Well, this is all right because it needs to be okay, stop. the same or less. Just remove the equal sign there. Why? To do it. Okay, now it's okay. now it's somewhat better. No, because if it if it's the smaller number mm. or the same. Yeah. Then I want that number. Okay. Now does No wait, work? I don't want the That will technically also work. The least common value. Mm-hmm. And if they are equally common, I want to keep the zero. So that's why I wanted to switch it around. So I want, mm -hmm. if the zeros are smaller mm -hmm. or the same, then we can just mm -hmm. keep the zero. Okay, so do that. That's what I was trying to do. If the zeros are less, then we keep the zero. Yeah. And then otherwise, we keep the one. And then I did this, and then it went wrong. This is... Okay, what does the line variable do? 
lines. This? Where, where does it go? What does it do? Trace it through this function. What do you mean? You'll... S oh, it's because I... I... Huh? No, it's still the same, right? You're fucking it up immensely here. Why? You're keeping... You're reassigning lines... Yeah. And then you're reusing that for the, the the next one for scrubbing and oxygen. But it's just going through this first. Then yes, and then at this, the end, right? you reassign this, and then you use that here. That's bad. Oh, okay. And you're doing it there as well. Going to take... And this, this also needs to be doubled up. What? Which? That counting? That isn't the same for both sets either. What do you mean? You need to do it once for oxygen and once for CO2. Yes. No. <laughs> no, but I or I could just reset it after that thing, right? I could just reset it you read here. It? I mean, like, no, no, no. I can do it. I can do it. It's fine. I'm going to do it. I'm going to reset it. I'm going to reset it. Such a burn crash fire. This is fine. It'll go through oxygen and then we're going to reset it here. We're just gonna reset it here. Lines is... You can just put this here. No, that's not the front. I might the need more thing. alcohol for this. And now we can put this here. And then it'll just solve everything, right? I reset, I reset it here before this part. But how can I reset the lines? Should I just copy this and put it there again? Should you reset the lines? Yes. Yes. Uh. Obviously. <laughs> no! So what you're doing Yeah, now, you can also just like can, copy and new, make a new... The logic blocks for both of them are identical. So you did it right once. So you should copy all of it, which you already did partially, and just have two variables, the oxy lines and the scrubber lines, but never have a lines object in general. But then I should just here add, I have oxy lines. Yeah, but you reset it every single time. You don't want but to do that. Because I need to check the those yeah, the but, oxy lines again. Yeah, but the thing is that the lines are then reused in your second bit where you do scrubbing. Yeah, but that's that's the problem. But I mean, I still need this these. Yes. So you do it at the start, and then you make oxy lines and scrubber start with the same. So just tell them that. They're so the I can same put thing. here lines <laughs> for the first one, but not every single loop. That is before the loop, right? It's before the if. Yeah, but you can't both tell them to be lines, because they're different. Oxygen and scrubber are different sets of lines, and you're mixing them together. Yeah, but if I put lines here, yeah, then I can just remove this. Oh, wait. First of all, you should remove the line equals oxy lines. That needs to be removed. But, you need but to for one that works... Because if you just do the one, you have to reset that line with a new set. Yeah, but the thing is... I'm so confused right now. Yeah, but the thing is... Okay, but that's okay. But then you reuse lines here. I know, scrubber. but then how do I fix that? Because I do need to reset it every time. So instead of... But that's the thing. Okay, so 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 now you're you're right. Just have a temporary one for each. No, that's what I wanted to do, but then how do I do that? So, lines, this is good. This because I thought, part. okay, before this part, I can make them a line for the oxy yeah, thing. Yeah, so, line, so the line, line equals len lines. <laughs> initialize. This. Yeah, in below that line, initialize scrubber and oxygen. The, the list, the lines. So, oxy lines. That's what I use here also. Doesn't matter. Do it. Do it. Just listen to me. I okay, command you. It. And then is what? It's lines. Because that's what you start with. Okay. Fun fact. Something you have. Trust me. You need to copy these because it's a stupid. This. No, no, no. So behind lines, write, open, square bracket, and then in between put a colon. That's, that's a semicolon. 
Why? Because it's the same object, and now you're making a copy. Otherwise, they would be okay. the same thing. <clears throat> so I have copied the lines to these yeah. values, and now what? I need now to you go just, in oxy lines. And now you remove lines and make it oxy lines. Yeah. But the problem is... Yeah, so here, where you do... So make it like a new. Make it right like oxy lines new. And also, I'm still not doing it right, because now I'm... This is not. This still has to be lines. No. This, yeah, because this is for the same for both. Because it's just counting. Only the first time it's the same for both, but after that it's not. But then I, then I have to. I'm sorry, yeah. It's, then it's, I have to copy this whole thing also that, for the next step. Indeed, you have to. I'm sorry. I hate it. I'm sorry. It's just. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you scroll up. <laughs> but then this. Yeah, so scroll up because we'll we'll fix it for oxygen first. So that was actually a good way of thinking about it. So oxy lines, just make it a, a different name, but that's your like collector, your temporary. So call it like new oxy lines or next oxy lines, whatever. And then you do oxy lines equals new oxy lines. Yeah, and then you need to change for line and lines here to be for line and oxy lines. Yeah. Can I scroll down? Wait, wait, wait. This is not right. That is actually right. No, why is it green? Because it's a typo. And, and then, then I have change to the same thing. This is one of the more difficult parts about programming is like keeping a, a, an eye on. No, no, that that's that. Well, that's either, so it's fine. No, it, I have to check the last one. Yeah, but oxy lines and new oxy lines will be identical, <laughs> so it's fine. Which either one you check is good. This is good. That'll work at all. It's fine. These are both the same. Oh, no. I don't agree that they're the same. Okay, but then. <laughs> okay, you know, okay, no. And then I reset the count because now I have to count again. Yeah. Scrubbling and it takes forever. Yeah, I know. Keeping track of your variables is not always easy. Is it now right, or should yeah. I no, do this one different? It's correct. You gotta do it for this. Yeah. All good. Gotta change the second bit there. Yeah. So this is why I wrote just one function. I changed a few things so you could get with one you could get one of them. With one you got the other. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay. Now, apart from all the typos, it should just work. Or for something. That's correct. You did it. Yeah, I almost died. This is where limiting scope is useful since you wouldn't need to care about overlapping variable names. Well, I do get what I did, but it was absolutely horrible. Mm. So, do you want a slightly different way of doing it? Just tell me, tell me. Do you remember what transposing is? No. Do you remember it from 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 maths? I don't maths? think we had. What? You have you have maths three transposing. When when you transpose a matrix, what do you do? You switch the axes. Yeah. So what would happen when we would transpose this list of of integers, of of binary numbers? Well, if you have a list, that doesn't you can't. No, you do can that. transpose this. You can transpose. If this. you see this as a table, maybe. Yeah. Of, what happens if if of n of every column? Yeah, yeah. Two D two D grid. What happens if you transpose it? Then you get the first number in every line. Yeah. Every... And then you can just do dot count. Mm. You just do line dot count one minus line dot count easy. zero. Yeah, mm. that would have been easier. And you don't even need to count zeros because you can just use the length of the line. Mm. Because it's only ones and zeros. Mm. So count one and count plus count zero equals length of line. So yeah. if you have... So if length if count one is over length over two, then it's more it's the then most. You present. just did something you mean if it's more than half? Yeah, more than half. But what if it is half? 
uh, they do uh, greater or equal then. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess that works. So when you transpose it, you just immediately know which you, which one's more present. Yeah. So fair, but I think I still did pretty well. You still did pretty well. I Considering mean, everything and how it's a how terrible I am at programming. Look how long this is, though. Can I? Can you see it? It's so long, yeah. and I hate that the green lines are there. So we should let them go away. I think you can disable that. This is my my code. This is what I had for day three. <laughs> it's short, it, but like difficult like what I did is I did like lines. I I told it which was like the most common one mm -hmm. to keep. So that's how I did that. So I have just one. Yeah, I guess you could keep just everything. Oh yeah, you did this. If you kept everything that has the one. You're building a common string here, which is like a terminology yeah. where your your yeah, it's you a consensus string is actually the the correct title. So that's why. Yeah, but then you'd have to go through that string again and look at the second number and then keep all of those. I don't know. This seems more difficult, but I don't understand this, so it's not. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I don't blame this you for looks that. Nice yeah, look, the... see, we we transpose it. Yeah, look, this was some hints. It says "fuck you." Oh, why? It says "send us, send us love you here." How does how does this why? Because that's where did you get this from? Someone posted a uh, posted input. This is Erlang, uh, Nix. Posted input. Yeah, and in the Discord. So if you try out the input, this then was the real. It right, this you was can the real input them. for for today. What is real it output H Z K H E J Z. Yeah. J Z. And, <laughs> and people made made other inputs that would generate other text. Cool. And then what did you do with the text? Is that like an Easter it. egg that you need? Oh, this is some input someone else gave me. No, like but I just gave it to me. This from the actual. What do you mean? This those letters. Yeah, that's that's the result. That's the output. Yeah, the that's the actual output. Right? Yeah, and this was the input. But you didn't need to answer a word. Oh no, this is from the. This is something different. Yeah, it's not the day. It's not the day. Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Wanna day four? You failed to read letters. That's impressive. Man. Day four, I think, is easier. Easier. Oh yeah, the giant. This was fine. Want to play okay. bingo? Man, I want to have a break so I can grab some more tea. Then we'll take a break. Okay, and then we could continue for a bit. We can do. Mm -hmm. We can try part four. Some of those they re really weren't hard to read past. Although to be fair, what uh, people did was instead of use like hashes and dots, use a full square and a space instead. That might make it easier to read. I think I can do that here by going to util and recompiling this. Using this is work. This shouldn't work. What's the what the that's the Unicode for a space? I don't even know. Oh, it needs to be a hash. Doesn't matter. You misread your U as a V. Wow. Well, that can happen, right? You should. Um. Yeah. Don't do ones and zeros. Unreadable. I did that mistake as well. Go make your tea. Do you want me to make it for you? No, no. But uh, people use the um, the full block and the uh, and a space for that. It makes it a lot more readable. I don't know how to do that in Erlang. So hmm? you already were invited to that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cute. Stop looking at me as a baby. Where is you as a baby? As Which a baby. one is you as a baby? You this one? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Stop this is it like your nieces Stop and nephews? Stop looking at my kid pictures on stream. It's here. adorable. I hate you. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. I hate you. That's adorable. So cute. If he gets to shame me over my poor programming skills, I can at least embarrass you by looking at your baby pictures. They're I don't know how to make your calculator print squares. Then don't use your fancy <laughs> calculator, you idiot. <laughs> I think that's mostly your fault. Okay, I'm gonna make the tea, okay?
this is going to be an interesting day because now we actually have to look into data structures. Data Trick you. No. In some ways. Again. You already trusted me? I mean, that's your mistake. The con the concept is easier. The concept. That doesn't help me, right? It's fucking bingo. That doesn't help me, though. Yes, it does. No, is the programming more difficult? Depends on what you would think is more difficult. So yes, then. Yes, and it is. Maybe yes, maybe no. Well, yes, probably. But no. But yes. So rude. I guess we'll see. I'm not rude, I'm just pragmatic. Rude. But uh, Bass, can't you print like uh, Unicodes? Like just grab the actual Unicode? If I grab the if the options to pack up and do it both in a bucket. Or oh. both in the aanrecht. Mm -hmm. In the dose, it's eentje. And there's also eentje in the wasbak. Yeah, exactly, right? So then you can just do that. Just use that, um... Instead of print zero, print just the Unicode. Okay, no, that's very understandable. You won't, we don't want to spend... Three seconds googling when you can wait a minute. <laughs> flip it over. You no, know, like the you can flip open the top. Yeah. My my girlfriend's if it's trying to make like one of those vector's rolletjes, you know, the ones where you put in whipped cream. And uh she's struggling mightily putting on like the special tip they give you to put whipped cream in them. And it's uh, impressive. Eva, you have to hold it upright, otherwise there will be no whipped cream coming out of the can. No, the other way. Yeah, like upside down. You are impressively competent. Oh. Is anyone, anyone one of you looking for a girlfriend? I've got one on offer here. She's slightly, slightly broken. Uh, they're more like me than you would hope, probably. Well, that's what you see as a bonus. Stop being so nice when I'm trying to... I don't know. It's tasty, but I've never had it, so... I don't know. It's okay. I like this better with the just a normal vanilla cake. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you want more tea? No, thank you. I don't need more tea. I can sustain myself in your pain for the rest of the evening. All right, time for bingo.
played Expo Bingo in a while. That's for old people. For old people? Yes. Not for young people, for kids. No, it's for old people. It's for really old people. It wouldn't be for kids. Or really young kids, okay? Actually, I played bingo more recently than that I did programming. Part 2 is really fast if you did it correctly. I Actually, I can't imagine a scenario in which, in which Part 2 If you be did fast. it correctly? A lot of... So, yesterday's Part 2 was do Part 1 completely different. Mm -hmm. This one is a Part 2 where you will already get the answer in some regard in Part 1. So basically, like every other thing we had until now, where you only change a little bit. Yeah, kind of. That is why you consider it easy, right? <sighs> I'm kind of cold. What do you mean about transposing lists? Pass. You mean to count the ones and zeros? You transpose the list and you can count the ones and zeros to get which one is the most common. Because then you can iterate over... Um... It'll only work for, like, for part one. You just generate the transposed lists... And then you just grab the most common bit from each string you then get, or each list, depending on your data types. For part two, it won't work that well. Does it split up the string list into digit or what? Uh, I don't think there's a built-in transpose function uh, in Python. For NumPy, there is probably, but not for base Python. For Ellen, I had to write my own as well. <laughs> so then you just do whatever you need to. But in Python, a string is a list. So you can just index into a string with zero. So you just grab the zero from every list and you grab the one. Transposing is, it, it just simplifies the, the, the logic. It doesn't change the logic that much, it just change how it looks. Because you transpose it and then you can take like call like a row zero dot counts one. It doesn't change any of the actual logic. It just changes the, the yeah. Oh no, I, this, this bingo thing. Yeah. I think we have to do this in programming in Python. Um, like, but not this exact thing, but we had to do, um, what is it? Photographs and AI, what is it called? Tic-tac-toe? Tic-tac-toe, yeah. We had to do tic-tac-toe. Uh, Really this is not dissimilar. Mm -hmm. Not dissimilar. No, but you still you also had to check a row or column or a diagonal, yeah. which is what you have to do here. We don't have to do diagonals. They're very nice to you. You just need to do Why rows needs? and columns. That makes literally zero it sense. It's simpler. But that's they don't state that here at all. I do. We didn't read properly. No. <laughs> they do. A row or column. Yeah, scroll up. It's where they. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sum of all unmarked numbers mm -hmm. on the winning board. Okay, then multiply by that sum by the number that was just called when the board won. <laughs> you can do it. This is awful. Is it? Yeah. To guarantee victory against the giant squid, figure out which board will win first. What will your final score be if you choose that board? Can you not just like grab the puzzle input and then just cross it out? Yes, you can. Because, like, yes, you can. Don't that think... would probably be faster. No, it won't. There's a lot of puzzles in the output. Or the input. Man, but... Oh, gosh. Oh, no! Oh, okay. If you have like 10 kids... What did you do? Oh, cancel. If you have like ten kids, maybe maybe it would be faster, but well, if I had a classroom full of kids, yeah, they so could do this. Yes. I would win this just because of effort. No names. Man, this is gonna suck. Oh, man. Why? <laughs> Why? 
y it's really not that difficult but yeah truth tables are going to be something you know oh, i forgot to. how to do this right i play. did it right why <laughs> This is a good start. Why not not? Yes, why not not? This is so depressing. It's not that difficult. It's terrible. Okay. So let's divide into pieces. But how do I mark a thing? Exactly. How do you do that? How do you mark something? I could replace it with another thing. I could replace it with like an X or something. You could cross it. And then it would remove the number and change it for something else. And then I could see if in a line or column in one of those things there is. But it's a complete, It's I have to skip the first row, which is the input. And then for every single thing separated by one blank line in between, I have to check for that little piece. You said this was easy, are you liar? Easier in concept. No! No, actually no, it's okay, still it's easier for me. I think my day here is like 20 lines. You know, this, I remember this was something that we did later in the programming course. Mm -hmm. Which is why I don't remember it now. Because why would I? Why would I remember this? I, I, I'm so lost already. I probably have to read like the, every line first and see, check for every line if there's then a, um, still a number in there that's not cross and then for every first of, and every second and every third. Or I could do what you did and invert the table and check for those lines again. No, that was for, yeah, they uh, did that as well actually. <laughs> Just did. Yeah. But you'll, you'll figure out a way. You can do it. I could still do that, right? I could do that in Python as well. Just first start with the start. Parse the input. Cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> parse the input? Yes. What does that mean? What's parse? Do you not know what parse means? I don't know what that word means. You can't parse the meaning of that? <laughs> You're so mean. I'll Google it myself. <laughs> I assume you said this or this. <laughs> Resolve into its components and describe the roles. I <laughs> Thank you. You're, so You're laughing at me. This is so rude. No, you deserve it. It's quite so you mean that in the input I should get the pieces that I need? Right? Yeah, you need to divide it up. So the pieces first, you need. I need. I'm not, che not cheating to reuse your old code. Not at all. Just gonna copy this little part and see what I need for this. File open day four. Read. Don't need this. Lines file. I don't need this either. No, I do. I I want No. You can just kick Nitro's parts and be done with it. <laughs> don't nice. incite her to violence. She's German that always goes out of hand. Suddenly she starts killing the Poles. What? German violence just goes out of hand. Next you'll start invading Poland again. I'm Dutch though. Half. You're also half Dutch then. What? No, I'm not. No. Fully Dutch? Then? Yes. Would you say so? What about your grandparents? They're Dutch as well. And your great grandparents. They're extremely Dutch. 
Is every single person in your family Dutch? How far back do you want to go? As, as long as you, you want to find someone else. Yes, there are. Yeah, so my ancestors came from the Holy Land. Of Dutchy. course you would care about that, you know. They, but they are not Dutch then. Or unless you call the Netherlands the Holy Land. <laughs> 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 they're they're from Jerusalem. So you not go back Dutch, far then. enough. Yes. So then you are not. See, you're not completely Dutch. So there. Just of like course, you. you would care about the one drop rule. Fucking Germans. <laughs> well, you always say that to me. So sad, saddening, <laughs> sad, really mean. Okay, I'm gonna. I need the first line. Don't want to get the first line. <laughs> I, I can do this. File eight lines. Then nothing happens with this, obviously. It's great out even telling you. I can do inputs. Yes. In, input is a function, don't use it. Never bingo set. The bingo set mm -hmm. is lines. And then it should be the first line. How do I get the first line? How do you get the first line? Maybe Google it. It's zero, yes. Did I do it? Yes, that's correct. Is this is, is then this, um, is I this then? I think NumPy here would be decent as well, but you don't need to. It's NumPy again. I did <laughs> use that sometimes. Fuck. Fucking hell. <laughs> 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 First line. Also, those are several, several lines. I'm sorry. That's like three lines. I mean, I use tuples here. I know Dennis used a class. They're all valid. What is? What did you say? Um, about the numpy. I I did use that. Some. Don't use numpy. What was it? What was it? It's a numerical library. What is that? For number stuff. It's a library for numbers. It does a lot of stuff. Oh, that was a really complicated stuff that I was really glad. It, well, it wasn't on the exam, but it wasn't a big part of the exam because I got lost in I it. I think my NumPy saw is even broken, so we can't use it anyway. That's sad. <laughs> Three times the help. Well, no. No, no. No. Does this, is this a hint? Is this a hint? Can I use this? As, is the B-movie a hint for solving this bingo set? That means you need to go watch a B-movie before you can solve it. I did watch the full B-movie in ASMR. <laughs> You're a degenerate. It was really great. You're a did you see it? It's a work of art. It's I saw so like a great. minute of it and then I had to vomit. Rude. Was it because it was ASMR or because yes. it was the B-movie? The B-movie is actually good. <laughs> That's actually good. This is a good movie. <laughs> You have no appreciation for art. You have no appreciation for art. Wow. Okay. That's indeed why I appreciate you. I have to think about this. You have no appreciation for art. So you're calling me not art. Yes. And that's fine because I'm a person and I'm not art. So there. Gotcha. <laughs> They're horrible. Okay, I really have to think about this because now I have the first thing, and that one I should probably split my bingo sets. How did I do that earlier? Line. How long is each bingo table? Hmm? How long is each bingo table? No, I'm looking at this one. I'm trying to split this by comma. Just do dot split and then the comma and so bingo sets. What's going on? I'm so happy. I'm happy. End of statement. <laughs> It's it needs to be in quotes. Oh, 
All right. So we did it. I no, did it. No, it won't work. What? It won't work. It's a side effect. What? Put that behind the line zero thingy. Remove the bingo set word. That's better. All right. So I did the first line. Now I have all mm -hmm. the values. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I should probably do this by the number. So it would probably become something like four. But you want to find and no, no 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 so, sets so, something like you this. want to find the bingo table yeah. that finishes first. Yes. No, this would work. But I should do every single for every yeah, no, number. I have then to it'll check work. the whole table for yeah, every yeah, work. yeah. So it would be something for n in bingo sets. What is n here? A number. No, is it? In a, a position. No, it's first, a string. Second. It's a string, not a number. It's a string, not a number. Yes. But like, I just split it on the comma, so you have yes, to do several no things. Strings. Yeah. They're so, not actual numbers. Yes. Yeah, so. It's okay. I need just to, keep to the move. No, but you asked really. It's what is n? Yeah, that is the, the number and the thing that I'm no, but checking it's in. The type. I know, but that's not what you asked. You just you're, asked you're what is you're it. Technically correct. I tried to explain to you oh. that it's like one of that is this. Yeah, no, no, you're, you're correct. This, correct. This piece of the thing that I just split. Okay. And then there would be something, blah, blah, blah. There would be things. But first, I should probably separate these parts by the empty line, right? And that's for everything except the first line. Because this one does not count. I would take... And take bingo cards. This lines one till I could just do this, right? Yep. Let's and then I want split them by an empty line, which is Mark? There's an error. There's an error. Where? I guess I can't split. Now I'm trying to split every line into something. Right? Well, this doesn't work at all. Because what are you producing here? What, now do you, have, what are you now splitting? I have every line. Except the first. Except okay. the first. But in what data type? In the list. Yes, it's a list. Yeah, and then I want to split, but that doesn't work. There's the no, there's no, down. Yeah, but then I have that's to, something different because split works in to, strings. Yeah, Google it. <laughs> <laughs> You're my library. I don't. I shouldn't have to Google it. <laughs> oh. Good one, nerd. Python divides. What did I say? It was list by empty lines. There. This, did I find the right answer, or is this not right? This is not Good. right! It's gonna help you a little bit. They do split! Yeah, but what is output? Output is a, it's just one giant string here. For a line in... Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Want to help you a bit?
What? This is shitty. This is not what I need. Right? Mm -hmm. It's not what you need. <laughs> no, I didn't want to... Do I want to translate it? No. It's the same page as before. No, oh, it's not. not. See? But it does say the same thing. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. But it does not give me any hints. Because it's obviously not right. I could go for a line in then that set of lines. And then if it's empty... And then consider everything underneath it. The next few lines. Is that what I'm supposed to do according to you? No, but it's one it work. It's it something that works, but that's that's, that's the only of... thing. But now I want to know what how it actually works. How I would really do <laughs> what do you mean? What's the How can I do the empty line thing and then it's... Okay, so when you do read lines, you get yeah. lines. You can also just do read, you get one giant string. And then you can split on the double slash ends. The double. Wouldn't that lines. be way easier? Because then I can yes. just check literally yes. every time the five things. And then... Yes, it would be trivial. And then inside that block, you can split on a normal slash n, and you just get five separate lines. <laughs> that would be so much easier. Do it. Is that easier than the other way that yes. I was supposed to? Way. Because if I did it, I would just. You would have to. I would still. I would check for every empty line, and then if there's an empty line, I will consider the next few lines. So I would Much still have. Here but then I would still have five lines. Yes, it was so similar, you would it's... get the same thing. Yeah, technically. Well, then, actually, my thing sounds easier. <laughs> it's more of a mess to work with. Why? I'm still getting the same five do lines, do right? No. no, 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 no. But I am still getting the same five lines, right? So what's yeah, the problem there? Easily. That you're making no sense. Tell me why not. Why is that not easy? I think it's pretty easy. Because instead of writing three lines of code, you're writing like 20. Then no, it, it'll work. Check I'm not saying it won't. Line and then see if the line is empty. And then if the line is empty, but how take you the get next to... five. Do it. I think you it's not that mm. difficult if you do it properly. The way you say it will work, it will work. I'm trained. Good night, past. Good night. Your approach will work. Just fine. Just a little bit clunky in my mind, but I don't think it's clunky if it gives you the same results. Why would that be? Because the clunkiness isn't about the result. It's about the, um, yeah, but the way I think, you get there. I don't think I need more lines of code than in your thing. I could make it a one-liner. Yeah, well, okay, but you could, but I couldn't, <laughs> and then it would still be the equal amount of lines. Okay, go do it. No, code. you can do it. Yeah, I know. I'm, I have glue on my fingertips. Why do you have glue on your fingertips? I had a band-aid there. Okay. All right. All right. I can do it my way. I would have to go for line on. For line on. How do I get empty? Just empty. It would be like this, right? This makes no sense. Slash n. Here? Adam slash. Where on the keyboard? And then... Bing, no cards. No. Card. Yes. The I want to have the position of the line. Okay, you can do that. So in for line in, in bingo cards, change it to for i comma line in enumerate bingo card. Here. Yeah, so it's i comma line in, in enumerate. 
and then brackets and then put bingo cards in brackets. And now I is the index. And then bingo cards I. That's just a needs to be square brackets. And I would be the current line. Yeah, so I would need I plus one until I plus five. Then you get I plus one, I plus two, I plus three, I plus four. Yeah. It's not, it's not inclusive, so you can see I plus. It's inclusive. There is a six. I don't, it's, it's either of the two. I don't remember exactly. Let's just try this. And then I could print the new card. Well. This Python two. I could try this. Wow! Did I do this? That would have to be valid in Python two, but we're not using Python two. Using Python three point ten. I don't know if it works. I know. <laughs> Look, I have four, so it's not enough. Yeah, so so I do need the six. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. See, it's fine. I did it right. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Mm -hmm. And now I could remove the slash n, probably. Mm -hmm. Do I even need? Mm. <laughs> you should. It's cleaner. And then I could... Okay, so this can go... Because I obviously did that right. Mm -hmm. But how do I remove the slash and then? Remember what we did last bingo time? bingo card. No. This time? We did, look, we did the same thing here. Line strip. This? Yeah. No, don't do it like that. Why not? You You're said shadow, not... shadowing the same name. No, no, you, the variable name you gave it is wrong. What do you mean, this? You can't, you can't name this bingo card. Why not? This has to be a line. But you want to do it like this. And bingo card. This will work. Yeah, well, I was trying to get this the same. So if I would have copied it right, that would have worked. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. Okay, so now I have... But why is it still this? Because it's never used later. It's never used later, yeah. And then now I could... I have... I have... I have so all stay the bingo in this, Stay in this logic block. So now, yeah, now... I no, line. You don't... You need to collect the bingo cards into something. What do you mean? Now this bingo card only exists in this scope. Only in this this. Yeah, block. but then I could just do it for that bingo card and yeah. do it for the next and for Indeed. the next and for the so next. Do so that. I could stay in there. Yeah. That would be fine. Because you already have your numbers. But then I have the 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 Man. And then I need to go to the bingo set. But this is a little bit easier because what you can do now is do four N in Bingo set. In bingo set. And then you can just, just apply it to this bingo Yeah, I card. know. And then I have to check yeah. if the number... If... What I want... How do I... How do you check? How do I check a value in the line? Like a, one of the numbers in the line. How do you do it? I don't know. I keep forgetting this stuff. I did it here too, right? For line in lines. No, because this is just one number. Mm -hmm. This is different. Maybe you want to get that number here too. What? You can split. Yeah, all the I spaces. could split it, but yeah. For n in bingo set. That's but what then you I can... need to do it earlier. So no, you can do it. So you have line dot strip. Yeah. Just do line dot strip dot split. And just split it. Where? On. Here. Yeah, after no, after the dot strip brackets. And then it needs to go like this. Space. Yes. 
Okay, so but what? How do I call it? Bingo card then? It's still bingo. It's still a bingo card, but now instead of a string, it'll be a list of lists. Okay, so for ang in. But what is one thing in the bingo card? How can I? The first call it? level is now a line. It's like one the top row, the second row, the third row, and inside that you have every number. Yeah, but how do I call that number? If I want to here say for that number, what do I call it? It's gonna be a double loop. So now do a loop. You first have to loop over the whole bingo card. So you do for n in bingo set, for line in bingo card, and for number in line. Line in bingo card. So yeah, for yeah, and now you uh, have. But that's what I wanted to know, so I can call it a number, and then if number is n. Mm -hmm. Then I can just make the number X. Do I need to double is? No. You do need it in the if statement. Where? Oh. So can you explain when I need these and when I need this? That's an assignment and above you're testing for equality. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. So if this value, the num the value of number is the same as the value of Is that, that returns true or false, and this yeah. is an assignment. And this is just make the number something. Yeah, so if it's grayed out, why would that be? Because... So this is a not slightly me. confusing thing. So you're extracting the number now. You can't actually change the value in bingo card. But you can do enumerate again. Why can I not change the value in the bingo? Because it's a read only, basically. You can't. Why? It's it. Said you you lose the reference. It's a copy, not a reference. Slightly confusing. But if yeah. I copy a set of data, right? I can just edit that, right? Yeah, but you're not. Yeah, but then you don't copy the original. So then you don't edit the original. Yeah. So you're copying number. And you're changing the number in memory, but that number isn't the same <laughs> location as your original bingo card. So if you would go to the next number in your set, you would lose whatever change you made. But why? Because you're not actually changing bingo card. But why not? Because <laughs> that's just how the, the language works. And this is also shadow. So you need to rename this to row. Sorry. Because it's the same as this. So I need to rename it to row. It's just how it works. Why do I need to rename it to row? Because, because I don't you, use you, that no, anywhere. you already no. You have to also rename the the other one, this one, because this line and this one would overlap. So you have to change them. Yeah, but so you need a way to keep track of what you've marked. So what would be a good way to do that? So if you want to change the number to x, that was what I wanted to do. Work. Because then you can just replace yeah, and work. go to mount x. But then, but you then need, how do I replace it if that's not? So possible? then you need to change this to the enumerate again, and then you do bingo card x y. X y. The, the 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 position, the row, and the column. But I don't want to. I just want in that row to replace that value with just x. Yeah. So then you do row. Why do I need the column then? Because you need to do you need to get the position right. But can I then not just take the position? Because I am looking at a certain number in that row. Why can't I just change that number? Because you lose the reference. You're not changing bingo card now. You're changing just number. Yeah, but I'm changing the number in the bingo card. No, you extract the number. You copy it over. You don't actually change the value in the bingo card object. So but then I so then now I have to look at the bingo card object again yes. and go for the bingo card, yes. the number. Hey there, Shil. Yeah, it's mutability. It's fun. <laughs> hey, no. So now I can go for what? <laughs> no, 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 don't do this. No, no, no. No, if you want to get the index, just do that in, just do the same thing you did here. Just do enumerate bingo card, enumerate row. And that's where you can get your X and Y. <laughs> Just want to do it in a way that I understand, and not this enumerate stuff. Well, then do it in a way you understand. I don't know how to do that. Yes. Uh, but 
It's not the thing I know how to use. There is no other way of doing this because that's this is, bullshit. Because that's... you're not. Yeah, this is the way it works. You can't do it any other way. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have gone with whatever solution you proposed first. But that wouldn't really have changed anything, right? Because then I would still get the same kind of bingo card. Yeah, yeah. My, my, here you would still my common them. would just replace like this line and this line. Yeah, but then... Kind of. So then it wouldn't change this enumerate stuff, so you would have also done the same enumerate stuff. Sort of, yeah. Sort of. So there is another way. Yes, but it's horrible. I wouldn't do it. It was just, it, yes, that would actually be kind of fun. I can actually play chess. Your uncle is like... What is he again? Is it like... Is he, he's not a grandmaster. No way, he's yeah. an actual grandmaster. Yeah. Is he the grandmaster? Yeah. Oh. You can Google him. Yes, go <laughs> just dox your uncle real quick. <laughs> No, but I mean, you can Google him. You specifically, Nitro. Yes, I can. National Master, I wouldn't know. Never met him. Man, I don't know. You should go look at this Wikipedia page and tell me. He has, I... a, Wikip he has a Wikipedia page. He does. Here, look, look Do you want me to look it up for you? While I think on this matter for a bit longer. I mean, this, yeah, I'm, I know, sure. There's a lot of... The thing is, there's like a lot of for and against arguments. Um, Bishop, this is not him. He has a Wikipedia page. What is this? Um, not in yeah. this language, probably. Yeah. You go, 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 go search for it. <clears throat> yeah, you say go, but I'm still thinking. So I would have to go. What did you say? Bingo? Wait. And yes, Bingo. this comprehension would probably work. And Here then we go. I would have to. I've got his ratings.feeder profile. Not this one. You have to go to Wikipedia. It's a title. He's a grandmaster. Yeah, but then. His world rank is uh, 1490. What's that? What? His world Where? rank. Where? 1490. Top, top row. Oh. Oh, wait. Now they can Google him. Oh, well. Rude he'll survive. So he is stuck in the Middle Ages. He is, um, what? what's his rank in Germany? He is number 107 in Germany. What a loser. Rude. That's very good. Oh, Be well, nice. He got a GM ranking in 1999. I don't know what that is. Oh, the Grandmaster. Yeah. He's really good at chess. And I can never beat him. And he didn't want to play with me. I wonder why you could never beat him. He didn't want to play with me anymore as a kid because he didn't want to make me lose all the time. I think he got tired of it or something. I don't know. Why would a grandmaster be beating a kid all the time? I wonder. He sounds like an asshole. He sounds like an asshole. Nice. He's very nice. But like... I I mean, I get it because... You mean his his ELO rating? I don't think it says... What? Oh, here. Do you want to know? No, it's um, his rating in STDs is 2430. In the Rapid, it's 2453. And in Blitz, it's 2444. What is that? That's his ELO rating. What's that? It's a rating system to rate people. And it's how like, good they are. Yeah, higher number is better. Higher number is better. So he has something. So what is the things? What was it like? What work? Like STD the... sounds like something much different. Standard. Okay. Uh, how do you like day 13? I think it was fine. Fun. I kind of like these days. I you plot them and that's lazy. I just made a very quick um, um, map printing function that I so, modified off of Nexus stuff. Can you help me again? You said something like this. No, so you have, no, no, no. You have to do that in these two lines. Enumerate. Why? Why? So you get like so row is here is the row. So that's your Y. You have like to do this? it. You have to do it in the in, in the for loop line. This is the for. For Y comma row in enumerate bingo card. That's what you need to write. Oh. And sorry for for. Another letter. Or y comma row and enumerate bingo card, and then for x comma number in row enumerate row or in enumerate row. You went way too quick. Don't do Hold i. On. Don't do i. I know you just 
But you just said that, I even said, though I, I said, said I should why? probably take another. I said why. Why? Yes. Why? And then for X. Is yes. that what you said? Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> just played. Your uncle is unmarried, right? Yes. <laughs> as far as I'm. I guess we already aware. we know we we already could have known that. Why? Read Hanser's comments. Why? Read Hanser's comments. Why? <laughs> Why for obvious reasons? Because they can't get laid because they spend all their time playing chess. I don't know. I don't know anything about this, so I. It's a gross joke. I don't know, man. Except I don't know. Chess players can't get laid. Why wouldn't they? Because they're playing chess all the time. But that then that would mean that gamers can't get laid because they play games all the time. They don't get laid in general. Programmers can't get laid because they program. That's actually, very games. true. And yes. People who uh, uh, what do you mean? Like athletes can't get laid because they athlete. <laughs> <laughs> they do sports all the time, and then that means that any no one can get laid because they're busy doing other stuff. Sex is a myth. <laughs> Why? Why would that be? You see, I haven't met a single blade of a chess player. Answer knows what he's talking about. How many chess players can you know, and does that happen to overlap with other hobbies like? Gaming and programming. Because, I mean, like, that would probably would that increase or decrease your chances of getting laid if you had multiple hobbies that take up a lot of time. Would My Lego's say? getting me laid. <laughs> My Lego's getting me laid. Why? Oh, you... how? It's not. What are you doing? What? I, you can. You wouldn't. You would Would you say that your the fact that you play games and do programming and like Lego that it increases your chances of getting laid or decreases your chances of getting laid? It got me in your pants. I I think despite those things. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> but um. Now what? <laughs> I did a lot of enumerating. Yeah. I don't completely understand what it does. So now you can do bingo and card. This is completely useless. And you can now index into bingo card. Wow, I know what that is. <laughs> you know what indexing means, right? Yes, but it's been a while, so no. <laughs> Use the square brackets to change the position you want. So bingo card? Bingo card? We need to like just and then head. it's like a y x y or y x x y. Does one won't work? You have to do two pairs of square brackets after each other, and then equals x. Yay! Okay, so now if it's this this number, it makes a square list. Your brother, so I hate you. So now it's changing the number. Is it changing the correct number? Yes, because it's changing. It is at that position that we at that if the number is the same, then we change the thing at that exact position to x. And test does it. this test for, it? But then, what, how can I print? Just at the end of all these bingo sets, print top tap tap. Print bingo set. And then uh, next time, write x at zero. What? Just write x at zero. Or do what? break. So we only break. print the first one, not all of them. We don't need to print all of them. Just exit or break. Exit zero. Run it. It's okay. Run it. I was just looking if I did that right. Yeah. Why? <laughs> It's still there. Okay. Oh, I sorry. See... Don't print bingo. So print bingo card. Yeah, because this is your input. Yeah. This is your input. Bingo. But stop, stop, stop. Before you look, look at your output. Scroll all the way to the right. Doing the slash M. Mm -hmm. I have to remove it at the beginning. Bingo. And then how do I remove Where do you put it? Line zero to... 
that's that's correct. You don't need. To... No, stop. Okay, fine. What? To the right, one character to oh, the wait, right. Oh wait, that's right. And just down to do dot strip. Yes. Good girl. <laughs> just strip. Remove everything except like integer numbers. Strips, strips removes all white space from both ends. But slash n is not white space. It is. Slash n. It's white space. I mean, I guess at the end, every number is called of the bingo card. <laughs> it's a racist. Shut up. Look, there's some empty space. What happened? What happened? I don't what know. Happened? No! I suck at this. How did it... Okay, like, I get how it can become X. Because eventually a number is called and it becomes X. But how did okay. I get the white so, space? So, 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 go to... After... So, before and after you do that whole splitting and stripping, print bingo card. You'll see what happens. Here. Yeah. So, before the line and after this line, print bingo card. You'll see. You'll learn a valuable lesson. Namely that I stripped wrongly because you didn't in you didn't explain. No, no, no! Stop, right? stop! Stop! After after this line, in between those two bingo card lines, and I didn't tell you when stripping incorrectly. Don't whitewash the issue. I'm sorry. What you told me to do it like? Shut this. up! You told me. You didn't check. You didn't check. Well, no, because I don't know what to check for. This one is already missing some values. Is it missing a value? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's empty. Is it missing one though? Yeah. Is it missing a? No, it, it added one. Why? Why? Take a take a gander. What are you doing? What are you doing? But why only here and why not only there? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Okay, so figure it out. It seems that maybe because it's only a single number. It counted and there's an extra space. Then I strip the line. How would you resolve this? Stripping it earlier. Would it help? Yeah, because you remove all the white space. Doing a scraping a handshake. What the fuck is that? <laughs> the fuck is a scraping a handshake? <laughs> I've never heard of that. Me either. But I would stab you. To be fair, I didn't wouldn't want to shake hands with people from scraping them. Why? Yeah, look at the vest lawns. Yeah, okay, but that's not saving specifically. That could be anywhere, yeah, anywhere in the vest lawns. Exactly. I mean, why would we shake hands with Hannah? Right? Yeah, they're disgusting people. Yeah, they they are weird. Anyway. Mm hmm. So you have. I don't get how I can then. Isn't that correct? If I just split it or strip it earlier, or you just don't. You just. Why does the strip here not? You work? strip only just from the ends. <laughs> what? It does it only from the ends, the start and end of the line. Why? <laughs> because that's just what it does. But you just it's told me it removes all the white space. From the end you of the start. I did say that. It's not going to get rid of that. How do you do it? No, I've never done that before. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> you think it's so funny. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. I could check if the number is two two numbers, then it's good. If it only has one number, you have to remove the spray. You want a hint? <laughs> you do that, right? I could check. Okay, here's, <laughs> see that? here's an answer. Nested list comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> How would you filter out all of the ones that are just empty? I showed you before how you could filter. <laughs> when? In the previous day exercise. This one? Yeah. Should I filter? Scroll this? down. Scroll down. Remember the if inside list comprehension? Of course you don't. <laughs> it's been longer than five seconds. Scroll down. <laughs> Roll further down. Oh, do you ever never end up using it? No, we did. What? It's there. I told you. No, it's I'm sorry. Not. I forgot how much code you deleted. Okay, you can do. Okay. Fuck forever. Stupid code. Yeah. 
I'm not even halfway through the day. It's almost midnight. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, so you can do nestedless comprehension. You just said that. I don't know what that is. So? Don't do it for me. Just tell me. Okay, so this is a list, right? But this is a list as well. So you can just repeat this, what you did here, just inside another square <laughs> bracket bit, and then do an if statement. If number does not equal this. So, so okay, surround this bit with square brackets. Do that first. But why is this a separate list from this? Because dot split makes it a list. That's true. So every line is a list? Yeah, and every line you can make it every and line. Every line in the list of the lines. Yeah, so okay, so surround log script dot split with square brackets. What does that do that? That makes it list comprehension. So this now now you're starting with list, but we'll make it a list comprehension now. So at the start of this bit, write for uh, no 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 stop stop stop. In inside the other one. So one more to the right. Uh so number no 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 sorry, number or number in Yeah, and now after split, you can write if. And now what if statement would we use? Equals. What? Do we want to keep it if it's if just that? No. Okay. It's not then. How do okay. I do this? Exclamation point before. And then it's also not a space but it's nothing it's a space no it's not take a look at that look they're just just quotes there you go that's it you did it i don't know what this says anymore it's just words now it's just words number for number in uh, if number is uh, for line number and line and the number in the line and the space and the number <laughs> you, you could build this normally as well but you would have like a two for loops would that would have been things. easier for me. Would it really happen? Yeah, because I understand those. Okay, so rewrite this in with for loops. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Come on. You can do it. Rewrite this with for loops. It's already like half written this. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm like... enjoying this quite a lot. Thank you, Gordon. I'm too tired. I think we should stop and leave this for like another day. I wanted to go to bed early, remember? You, you can just continue this later. I will continue it later. This is a disaster. It's amazing. It's not. It's really. I'm getting so lost. Okay, can I save this somehow? It's already saved. Okay. Well, then I think we should go to bed. I'm going crazy. You're already crazy. Thank you. Crazy cute. Oh, <laughs> cute. All right. Oh. So, fun fact, like data parsing is a pretty big part of most atoms of code, like years. Like there, are, this is not an easy thing to do. Of course, in how long it took like... <laughs> no, but the thing is like, it's just, um, yeah, no, you're running into the same issue that probably a lot of people did. Because you cannot just do split on space because there are double spaces in places. It sucks. It's not it sucks. This is exactly what you tell it to. Let's see. What was my solution? They fall. Something that I also do not understand. It does not really help me. So this is how I get the lines. I just say, give me the first five lines. But I strip away all of the ones that are just empty. See, you did do the thing that I did where you split it by the empty line and then you take those lines. No, I didn't to... actually. I don't. No, no, I don't split it by the empty line. Then how do you just take the first five lines? Because there, you need many more. Um, because <laughs> that's... Uh... How do I do that again? I don't. No, it's already done before. The uh, the code that gives me the input already strips away empty lines. Rude. So does it? So I don't get any of the empty empty lines. That's nice for you. And in between, I do that here, because you could have done this as well, but you didn't. Sort of. Uh, you didn't. So it splits it by space, and then I do list to integer. 
don't think about it. It works. So I could have just done that to get rid of the spaces, the extra spaces. I just uh, make it an integer no, and it just takes... No, answer it won't help because if you call int on this, it'll error out. It would have told you what was going wrong earlier, but... um. But you could do it one step before. Yeah. But the thing is, hamster, then you would have to still split in some other way. But what you could do is because they're all only two numbers, you could break it apart into bits. You could probably strip this one so that the slash n goes away, right? Or like at some way, in some way, remove that and then make all of them um, integers. Depending on right? how the order uh, happened, hamster. One second, let me take a quick look at your code because I'm actually curious how you did it. I'm not going to look at this because I don't want to get You can go to bed if tip. you want. Yeah, I don't want to get the tips. I want to do it myself, but just another time. What do you do again? I mean, I, I trust you that it works. Cards that append. Card. Card. How do you check it again? Why do you split it on everything? Why do you do that here? For X and oh, sorry, you do split without an argument, which would work. So we can do that as well, actually. I forgot that worked. I actually, I mean, like I said, I haven't used Python in a while. There we go, we fixed it. That would have been a lot more easy. Well, sorry, Ava, I complicated it a bit for you. Yeah. Hey, I forgot, I haven't used Python in a while. Goodbye, nice people. Thank you for being here today and seeing me suffer. And I hope that next time I will be less annoyed by the stupid code and the stupid boyfriend who gives me wrong wrong hints. The wrong hints. Okay, okay. You're very sweet. And thank you. Thank you, Nitro. I'll never help you again. Aww. I thought it was nice to have you here. I like I like trying to program a little bit. This is like the one time in the year that I feel at any kind of urge to try programming. So, but it is nice. And uh, thank you for your support, everyone. Kind of. And like, I, I didn't understand how the things you suggested, but that's not your fault, I guess. And see you next time. I'll try to finish this another day. Okay, quick, stop stream. You, you go, you go. I have to do it. You also have to say bye. All right, fuck you guys. Goodbye.